This Mason's UniPro Flexible Air Barrier Installation video is in support of the UniPro Installation Manual that can be downloaded from our website, masons.nz. The New Zealand designed UniPro Flexible Air Barrier with its rugged construction and highly water resistant qualities allows work to continue inside the building for up to 150 days without waiting for the cladding to be complete. To install UniPro, you'll need the following tools. Mason's Uni Fasteners, galvanized or stainless steel nail and washers for timber frames, or galvanized screws and plastic washers for steel frames. A hammer or uni fastener gun. Mason's 75mm 40 below platinum or flex flashing tape. Mason's 150mm 40 below platinum or flex flashing tape. Mason's penetration seals for pipe penetrations. Mason's PEF rod or similar. Mason's dry fix 200 or 250mm plastic DPC or similar. Mason's brick ties as these have been tested and developed together with Uni and Uni Pro. Mason's corner guards for windows a cutting knife, and a plastic scraper or similar to assist with the adhesion of Mason's 40 below flashing tape. And under no circumstances should staples be used. Mason's support builders with their first time use of uni, so consider contacting your local Mason's rep and where possible, we will book in your free training. Mason's Uni Pro comes in a 2.74 meter by 18.25 linear meter roll, which covers 50 square meters. Sofeet drops may be cut to suit your nog set out. Before starting, Masons recommends downloading and printing the Masons Uni Pro installation instructions and installation checklist and have these to hand on site. This is very useful when preparing for inspections. First, check the stud and nog set out is correct as to the wind zone and fixing centers for Uni Pro. The fixing chart may be found in the installation instructions for Uni Pro. If required, cut and run a UniPro Sofit strip or drop so it overhangs the first nog line. Run the Sofit strip taut along the top and level with the top plate. Run the wrap horizontally and with the printed side out. Don't fasten the bottom of the Sofit strip. This needs to be ready to overlap the next layer of UniPro by 150mm. Next, run UniPro horizontally around the house with the printed side out overhanging the bottom plate by a minimum of 50 mil. When this is done, fold the Sofit strip down over the wrap. Again, you should have a minimum overlap of 150 mil. If no Sofit drop is needed, start from the base of the building, installing the first layer horizontally, level and taut, then work upwards. Install the next layer of UniPro so there is a minimum of a 150 mil lap over the lower layer. Make the horizontal lap on a nog line for extra support. UniPro should run over openings and these should be left covered until windows and doors are ready to be installed. When wrapping, allow for UniPro to finish a minimum of 50mm below the bottom plate. UniPro is easy to cut, simply slice with a knife. It's important to fasten UniPro with Mason's UniCap nail and washer fasteners at designated centers depending on the wind zone as they rapidly increase the holding power and provide critical water resistance around the nail. This is why UniPro can only be fixed with Mason's UniCap fasteners, either with a gun or hammer. Using staples or any other non-approved product will void the warranty. Uni fasteners are available for either timber frames in galvanized or stainless steel, or galvanized for steel frames. UniPro may be fixed either with UniCap nails only, typically for masonry veneer, or with a combination of UniCap nails and ventilated or solid timber battens. When using battens, the use of blue plastic strapping is recommended to restrain the UniPro from billowing and closing off the 20 mil cavity. This is particularly important for 600 mil stud centers. This is at the discretion of the builder for other stud centers, but remember, this will be hard to fix later if billowing occurs. Install the blue strapping first prior to installing the timber battens. Always nail through the solid part of the batten so the back of the batten seals against the UniPro. For horizontal battens, a row of UniCap nails may be replaced with horizontal timber battens. Whether using UniCap nails exclusively or a combination of cap nails and timber battens, be sure to observe the maximum fixing spacing both vertically and horizontally. 
See the fixing chart in the UniPro installation instructions. Vertical overlaps of UniPro must be no less than 150mm and must be made over stud framing. Horizontal overlaps must be no less than 150mm. Make horizontal overlaps over nogs or blocking. This is mandatory for UniPro. All overlaps must be taped off using 75mm or wider, 40 below platinum or flex flashing tape. Any pipe or service penetrations must be sealed immediately with Mason's penetration seals. When doors and windows are ready to be installed, it's time to create the relevant openings in the wrapped UniPro. Openings are formed by cutting diagonally from each corner of the opening. The flaps of the cut membrane are then folded inside the opening and fixed to the framing. Staples are okay for fixing the wrap inside the window frame. This is the only place staples may be used. Excess underlay may be cut off flush with the internal face of the wall frame. Mason's 40 below platinum or flex window flashing tape is to be used with Uni Pro flexible air barrier for flashing windows and openings. For the installation of window tape on the window sill, place the mason's corner guard over the uni wrap and into the bottom corners of the window or door sill and staple to the jam. With steel frames, use double sided tape to attach the corner guard to the metal. Install sill tape flush with the interior face of the opening. Apply along the entire length of the sill and continue up each jam for a minimum of 200mm. Apply two layers of 40 below platinum for nail and screw sealability. 40 below flex achieves this with just one layer. It's important to press the seal tape firmly into the corner over the corner guard first, then slit at each corner and now fold any remaining flashing tape against the outer face of the frame. Smooth out all the creases and press firmly for a good adhesion. For the installation of window tape on the window head, install lintel pieces on the top corners of the opening, running 200mm along the lintel and 200mm down the jam. To ensure maximum adhesion of the tape, make sure the substrate surface is clean, dry and free from any dust or other contaminants. Slit at each corner and fold onto the outer face of the frame. The tape must cover at least 50mm of the face of the frame and always use a tape applicator or plastic scraper to get the correct adhesion. To create a seal at the junction, install butterflies at a 45 degree angle. Joinery, head flashings. Fit Mason's dry fix plastic DPC up the side of the window jams and run under the head flashing. Correctly install the DPC to the jams and the second layer of UniPro over the head flashing to provide superior weather protection both during construction with no cladding in place and superior durable deflection and drainage over flashings for the life of the building. For the head flashing and other flashings with upstands such as wall and roof junctions, start from a natural break in the framing line above such as the sofit or joinery above. Bring a second layer of UniPro down over the head flashing upstand as shown in E2 AS1. Use the same double layer of UniPro method for apron flashing and any similar wrap flashing joins as per E2 AS1. For UniPro, this is mandatory for all wind zones. Mason's testing has shown these details provide superior temporary weatherization while the cladding is not in place ensuring the installation and interior lining are dry, even in significant weather events. Masons recommends that the site supervisor checks UniPro regularly for damage. Any damaged areas must be repaired immediately. Damaged areas can be repaired by covering with new material lapping the damaged area by at least 150mm and fixed to blocking or nogging. Tape the overlapped UniPro material to the underlying UniPro using 150mm 40 below platinum or flex pressed in well. Mason's UniPro should not be exposed to the weather or ultraviolet light for more than 150 days. Exposing UniPro to more than 150 days of UV should be avoided. However, should this occur, contact Mason's for advice. 
Rolls of UniPro wrap should be stored on end and under cover in a clean and dry area out of direct sunlight. So to help you along, here's a quick recap of some do's and don'ts of using UniPro. Do pull UniPro tight across the studs. Do use UniCap nails to fasten UniPro to the framing. See Mason's website for fixing patterns. Cap self-drilling screws are available for steel frames. Do flash windows with Mason's 40 Below Platinum or Flex flashing tape. And use Mason's blue hydro corner guards on the sill. Do overlap vertical joins by a minimum 150mm and join on a stud. Do overlap horizontal joins by a minimum of 150mm and join on a nog line. Do drape uni below the bottom plate by 50mm. Do run a second layer of UniPro over the head flashings as per E2 AS1. Do run DPC up the jams and under the head flashing, a second layer of UniPro. Do consider using blue strapping under cavity battens to prevent uni billowing into the 20mm cavity. Do use Mason's brick ties with UniPro. Do use Mason's penetration seals to flash pipes and conduits. And lastly, do always use a plastic tape scraper to press Mason's tapes firmly onto a clean, dry UniPro to achieve the correct adhesion. It's preferable where possible to have framing behind overlaps and taped seams. And here are some don'ts when using Uni. Don't use staples or cap nails. These will leak air and water. Don't fit blue plastic strapping, Dan bands, unless there's likely to be excessive billowing of the wrap into the cavity, such as for 600mm studs and 20mm cavity battens. Don't fit UniPro so loosely that it billows into the cavity when installed. Don't create any unflashed penetrations through the UniPro. And now you're good to go. UniPro is the choice of the serious professional, and now you're on your way to a quick, simple and successful installation too. All product documentation can be found on the Masons website, masons.nz, or through the following specifier websites. UniPro is available through your trusted main merchants, or just call us on 0800 522 533.